we go to main CSS, right? And we go all the way in the bottom, and again, we're going to have to create a uh, more space, right? Because uh, I want you to see everything uh, a little bit easier. So here, we're just going to again create a comment, and we're going to say that this is going to be a promise section, right? And if you remember that we had a two classes, right? One of them was promise picture, and one of them, one of them was promise text, right? So now you can you cannot see the promise picture because there's nothing in there, right? We can see that only promise text. And therefore, we're just going to start with promise text because promise picture is a little bit more interesting and it's actually really cool. But promise text is a little bit more straightforward. Now, over here, what do we need to do is we write promise text over here, and then we're going to start styling. Now, the first thing that I would want to do is, because there's going to be a picture side by side, I just want to set the height for, let's say, in this case, 600 pixels, right? Then, after that, I would want to create a background color, and I'm going to say that that back background color is going to be, let's say, white smoke, right? Something like this, just so it's a little bit different than uh, regular color, right? And after that, what I would want to do is actually create over here a padding, Right, so I'm going to say a promise over here, promise uh, text, and I would want to add padding. Now, I don't need to create a new class, so sorry about that. I was just uh, talking away a little bit over here. So I'm just going to say that I would want a promise text to have a padding of, let's say, 40 pixels, right? And then let's say 20 pixels, something like this, right? So 40 pixels are obviously going to be top bottom, and the size is going to be 20 pixels, right? Now, after that, I would want to deal with over here with these paragraphs and what I'm going to say is I would want to select a class remember when we create a class of promise icons over here and I would want to select these paragraphs right and I would want just want to say that I would want a different font size over here and I would say that this would be like 20 pixels and after that we would want to like like a line height right and we would want 1.2 ems right something not not really too much not 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 really too little and after that, what we would want to do is over here, these, uh, remember these icons, font awesome icons, right? So we would go with a uh, ID of our section, which is promise. And we would just want to select class of font awesome, right? So you can see that, again, the nice things about uh, brackets live preview right away, it shows you which items we're selecting. And again, we're going to go with this color. Remember this uh color this orange color right so right now i just remember already because it's pretty much f and it's one five zero uh two five right so you can see that we're creating over here this promise section and again the neat thing is if we are adding over here right if we're using this if we're copying or if we add, if we're using this bracket snippets right and if we go back right if we go over here, this header, right, it right away, it is styled, right? Because we style it all the way up over here somewhere, right? Where, where was the service, right? Header, right? So this, this was the style for our header, right? And every time we add it in our text, again, using just copying or using bracket snippets, the generic section, right away, it saves us from going back and, and styling and styling and styling. Now, obviously, you'd want some custom look, you you know, obviously maybe do it a little bit differently. But for just the purpose of this video, it really helps, right. So over here, what we need to do is add a font size, right, and I just want them bigger. So I'm just going to say that they're going to be like 40 pixels. Now, now that we're done over here with this promise text, this was pretty straightforward. Now, let me show you how we can add this uh, interesting, very interesting, actually, uh, this uh, like background, right, for the other section, for not for the other section, for the other column. And what we would need to do is now I would want to select a promise and I would say that I would want a promise picture, right? This is going to be my other class, right? And I'm just going to create a little bit of more room over here. And the first thing that I would want to do is, again, set the height, right? So I'm going to set the height over here, and I'm going to say that this is going to be 600 pixels. And now you can see what happens, right? So now we have this column, right, that had nothing in it. And then we have a promise right next to each other, right? And over here, I would want a background, and obviously I would want a image for that background. So as always, we would write a background, and then we would need to specifically say URL, right? And 
over here we would need to say where we are getting from right and over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go again images right and over here i already saved the picture of promise right and this would be a promise background and as always i really encourage you for you to really find whatever pictures you like you don't really therefore i'm not sure like not that i really hiding the pictures that i'm uh using i mean but that, therefore i showed you the websites where you can go and get your own because there's really no difference whether you're using mine or yours i mean you can use mine and you'll definitely find them if you go to those websites so therefore we go over here and you can see that it's going to be harder right now to see because we haven't centered it right so and you can see that's pretty much like a it is a picture but it's actually a really massive picture right so what we would need to do is we would need to start actually adding some more rules right um sorry some more uh, properties right so over here the first one we would say the background position right and we would want a center right so you can see that it's coming along so now we have a center and then we're going to say that background repeat and we want no repeat right so this is going to be no repeat and then we're going to say that we would want a background size and that would that should be cover right background size and this is going to be a cover Right, so now you can see that right now our picture is actually sitting exactly where we want it to sit. And the last thing that I want, I want to add over here this background attachment fixed, right? So I go over here, background attachment, and if we write fixed over here. And if you remember, we can add over here this fixed just directly over here to this background. But just, you know, just to change things around, maybe one time we'll do background attachment fixed. And now the other, other one we're just going to write fixed over here just so you can remember and just go over those things. And the neat thing about it is you can see that it creates over here this nice uh, look, right? This parallax effect, right? That as we're actually sliding up and down, right? You can see that our picture stays over there. And now I want to show you the most interesting thing, right? Is, well, at least in my opinion, I'm sorry. I'm, it's probably pretty sad, but... Uh, anyway, so I we were gonna create this line, right? This 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 vertical line that's gonna be spanning some pixels left to right and all the way from the top, right? And what we would need to do over here, it's actually pretty simple, right? We would need to play around a little bit with the border properties, right? And the first thing that I want to show you is obviously we're gonna go with border, and we're gonna say that this is gonna be border top, right? And now we pretty much specifically would need to say what kind of border top we would want, right? So let's say in this case, I'm just going to tell you that we're going to go like 20 pixels. And over here, we would need to for sure write solid over here, right? Because if this is going to be solid, you will see how it's actually going to play around with the side one, right? So let's say over here, I just write border top solid, let's say black, right? And over here, what I would want to do is actually create a side one. So I'm just going to write the border right right so i write border and i would write right over here like this and again i would let's say just for the purpose of showing let's say that we're going to write border 20 pixels solid and we're going to say red right and the reason for that you can see that we want this line over here you can see in between them right so we have one border over here on top and the other one on the side right so as we're sliding up and down or even if we just make our screen a little bit bigger you can see our borders and obviously you can you can choose other, another borders you don't need to use the top one or the side one i just showed you this how it's going to be on let's say whatever website will be creating but you can obviously pick your own and the key over here for the solid is you want over here this line over here in the middle because if you're not going to be adding this solid right What's going to happen is that one is going to be overlaying the other one, and you really don't want to do that. Now, how do we create over here this, let's say, this this sum of this picture, let's say, well, I don't want to say missing, but it's kind of hidden, right? So what we would need to do is over here is this border top, right? We would need to go the same amount of pixels that we are actually using for our height. So I'm just going to say 600 over here. And you can see right away how it is actually creating over here. You can see this one, right? So this is going to be our side, right? But what we would need to do is instead of black, we're going to write a transparent, right? So now you can see that our picture stays over here, but it, would, it creates over here this effect, right? Where it's actually, some of it is actually not showing because of this side one, right? 
but remember to use this solid right? this is really important otherwise if we delete this solid you can see that it's not going to be creating this effect this is pretty much just going to be some type of border on the right right so we're going to add solid transparent right now what we want to do for the side is we just need to pick whatever size we want right so let's say it's 200 pixels right or we can say like 150 i mean again it really depends how you want right so if i go with border right solid but instead of using red over here right what if i would use white smoke right which would be the background for the other one right over here like this so what's going to happen is if we go to the bigger screen right so what happens is if we're scrolling up and down, you can see that we have this effect, right? So this is how we can do it. It's actually, again, it's really simple, but you just need to remember a couple of things, right? You need to remember that you want a to use the same height, right? You want to use this solid over here, and then you, you want to use over here transparent. Now, again, I encourage you to go and uh, actually play around with your own values and just see however you would want, right? But this is the look that I just found really interesting. And this is the most basic one. So obviously after that you can do however you'd want. But this is how we would create over here this parallax effects. All right. And this is how we create a uh, promise section. Right. So now that we're done with that, we're actually ready to go and jump to our next section. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,